Hey Pixels! In this week's tutorial, I'll show you how to design and code this stylish, split-screen sign-up form using the latest in HTML and CSS. Perfect. Before we get started, hit that bell and subscribe button so you'll be first to know when a new video drops. Now that we have that out of the way, let's jump right in. First, be sure to head on over to exopixel.com and download the Sign-Up Screen UI Kit, a free UI kit made exclusively for Adobe XD. For this tutorial, we'll be coding the sign-up screen layout. As you can see, it's a split-screen layout that's clean and stylish. In XD, I'm able to view all the design specs needed to code this sign-up screen by sharing my design with developers. Now that I have my design specs, I can reference it as I code. First, we need to code the structure of our website, so we're going to start with the HTML. Let's use the div tag and give it the class name split screen. Then we'll create a div for the left and right sides that will make up the split screen layout. For the left side, we'll grab the section tag and give it the class name copy. Then we'll add a heading and a blurb. The right side of our page consists of some text and the actual signup form. First, we'll create the form using the form tag. Within the form, we'll add a section with the class name copy Then we'll add both a heading and paragraph CTA for users that may need to log in instead of creating a new account. Now we'll create a div with two class names, input container and name. Then we'll add a label for the input field called full name and we'll use the for attribute f name. Now that we have a label, we can add the actual input field below the label. We'll give it an ID of f name, name of f name, and type of text. We'll repeat this same structure for both the email and password input fields. Note that for the email input field, we need to make sure that the type is email, and for the password input field, the type is password. For the password field, we'll add placeholder text to indicate password instructions, and we'll also add an eye icon that indicates functionality for a user to show or hide their password as needed. Now we need to add a CTA for users to opt in to email updates, so we'll create a div with two class names, input container CTA. Within this div, we'll use the label tag and give it the class name checkbox container. Add the checkbox input and then we'll add a custom checkmark using span. Below the checkbox, we'll add the sign up button. Finally, we'll add some legal copy. We'll wrap it in a div with the class names copy legal, wrap it in a paragraph, 
and then a span with the class name small so that we can style the text in our CSS. That's everything we need for the HTML. Now let's move on over to the fun part, the CSS. The CSS is where all the magic happens. This is where we'll turn our skeleton of a site into a stylish signup form that we designed in Adobe XD. First, we'll establish our font size and use a CSS variable to the root of our site. We can grab any CSS variables we need from our XD design specs. Using variables for colors is helpful because it has a custom name that we can easily remember and use throughout our code, compared to using color hex values. Let's apply some styles to the body, h1, h2, anchor links, and some text with the class name small. Now we can style the main split screen layout for our site using Flexbox. First, we'll select the class split screen and add the following declarations, display flex and flex direction column. Now we'll add some height to the left div and then use Flexbox alignment declarations for both the left and right divs. For the left div, we'll add our background image and subtle dark gradient overlay. We'll also style the copy and add font smoothing since the text is against a dark overlay. For the right div, we'll style the copy and we'll set the width of our form to 328 pixels. Now we'll style the text, email, and password input fields for our signup form.
We'll also style the labels above our input fields. Now, we'll need to style our password input field so that the eye icon is positioned nicely to the right-hand side of the input field. We can do this by declaring the position of our input container password to relative. Then, we'll position the eye icon using position absolute, and then adjust its position using the top right properties. Moving on to the checkbox, we're going to turn the boring default browser checkbox into our stylish custom checkbox. We'll first need to hide the default checkbox. Then, we'll code our custom checkbox container. We'll add a blue background when the checkbox is checked. We'll create the checkmark indicator and hide it when it's not checked. Then we'll show the check mark when it's checked. Now let's style the actual check mark that sits within the checkbox container. Finally, we're going to style the sign up button. Now we're going to create a media query so that when our browser hits 900 pixels in width, the split screen div will flex into a row and the height will extend to the entire viewport height. We'll also apply some styles to the left and right divs so that it's a true stylish split screen layout. That's how you design and code this sleek and stylish split screen signup page. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more videos on design, code, and tech. I'll see you in the next video.